Let's look at another option here too. So we've already dragged and dropped the audio, but Machine gives you an option to actually drag and drop the MIDI as well. So for instance, say I have my nice drum pattern here. Very simple drum pattern. This is basically two keys. Um, what I can do here, let's go to the pattern drag mode. So from here on we've been doing audio this whole time. We can switch this to MIDI and also drag this in as well. So let's create a new MIDI track. Let's come to Machine. Let me delete some of these guys. We don't need them here. Just free up some space. And let's open up Machine again. Now that I've had that selected, we have a couple options. We can do Sounds to a MIDI Channel, Sounds to MIDI Notes. Most options you're going to want are sounds to MIDI notes on what channel and then select your root note. So since these are drums maybe I want to actually go down to C1 or something like that. We can just try that and see how it works. C1 because most MIDI, uh, general MIDI template for drums is going to start with the kick at C1. So we'll hit apply and now we can drag and drop the MIDI. There it is. Very, very simple. If we hit play, you're not going to hear anything, obviously, because I don't have anything triggered. But say we were to go in and load up um, one of our favorite drum instruments or something. So let's load up Native Instruments Battery. Uh, and let's just quickly choose a kit. And now let's hear what it sounds like on something else. So obviously not how it's intended, but you get the idea. Let's look at something more more practical. Um, let's go in and add another MIDI track. And on machine, I had this uh, synth line here. So let's look at the synth bass. Here's the actual piano roll for it. Oops, I've got machine muted again. Sorry about this. So maybe we like that, maybe we don't, but I've already set up my MIDI template. So let's actually go in and we will drag this one now to, what am I starting at here? Let's find out. I believe this is D1. So we're going to go in and I'm going to select D1 as the root note, apply. Now let's drag it in here. Oops. So now dragging MIDI is nice because maybe sometimes you just, you know, you want to tweak it out or try different instruments even later. So let's just grab Massive. Let's actually find a bass sound for Massive. This is very easy to do. We can just come in here and find a bass sound. Let's find an analog dark base this might be just right now we can go in oops I definitely took that down way too low that's actually set way too low so it, you know be cognizant of what you're actually sequencing and, and what root note you're gonna have it come in at so there we go So it's probably it might be a nice option for you when you're when you're reworking in the DAW and you say you know that Razor synth was nice but I have a better idea of a baseline and massive and I actually want to kind of tweak that out later or or add and uh, you know create multiple variations or actually layer on top of one another a couple different options for you I, I hope you're getting the point that machine can kind of work very um, flexible inside of the DAW on however you want to actually get your audio out and into the DAW.